On a blustery May afternoon, a student drone is wafting on the wind, recording a new home going up in Salem, wall by wall, nail by nail. This residential home is entirely student designed and mostly student built. Everyone on this construction crew is a local high school senior looking forward to graduating in June. They work as a team, their instructor Curtis Fisher standing by, if needed. All hands on, the students are really engaged with what we're doing and we get to this time of the year and most of the students that are here, they've been here for two years, so I pick the one that's the foreman and I just wait until the foreman has questions. Other than that, the students do it all. What are they doing today? Uh, today we are framing interior walls and putting on the double top plate. It's kind of the last steps that happen before the trusses of the house go on. These students enrolled in the two-year residential construction course at SeaTech, the Career Technical and Education Center. SeaTech is a public-private partnership between Salem Kaiser Schools and Mountain West Investment Corporation. Mountain West purchased and renovated a former manufacturing facility, now home to 10 different career technical education programs, or CTEs. Residential construction was one of the first programs SeaTech offered. The idea is to train high school students with the skills and knowledge needed to get high-skill, high-wage jobs in high-demand fields. Because these students come out so much better prepared, there are jobs following graduation for those who want them. About 200 students have completed this full two-year program since it began seven years ago. In the last two years, CTEC says about two-thirds of its residential construction graduates have taken industry jobs. CTEC instructor assistant Alyssa Stone is training to become a building inspector, something she had no idea she'd be good at until she heard a CTEC talk at her school. I went to Sprague and I didn't have, really have a career path. I was like, okay, I'll do nursing because so that's all they had to offer. Um, but then they showed up and all of a sudden I had 10 options of what else I could do. And then I like, did really good for the first time in my life um, at CTEC. I never really succeeded at school. Um, but. CTEC is where I did. Um, I fell in love with plans reading, um, and my teacher at the time, Mr. Fisher, he um, he made plans reading assignments, and I actually told him that he was wrong on his plan reading assignments, and that was my favorite. Um, and so he talked to me about building inspection, because that was at Schmeckdale, which is something he went through. Are you looking forward to a career in it? Yes, I am. Um, I've never seen uh, opportunities like I have through building inspection, not only where I can go, how much I'll make, but um, the networking that I can do through it um, and just helping the community and hopefully not being the stereotypical mean building inspector, but bringing a good light to it. <laughs> the hands-on approach to learning gives those who thought they couldn't master subjects like math practical experience using it. Well, mostly it comes into play that we have to like calculate how many materials we're going to need, how tall the studs are going to be and the walls, and how, uh, or the distance of how long they are when they're all put together. Actually, just try it. Like, you never know till you try. I wasn't that good at math, but like, and I just joined C-Tech just to see if I would like it, and it turned out I liked it a lot. So you never know till you try it. Um, I think I would say that, um, if you're really uh, passionate about it and you really want to understand the material and what's going on, if you put in that effort, um, you'll develop the skills for sure to move on. Stick with it. Stay encouraged, you know, always believe in yourself and ask for help when needed it and yeah, that's pretty much it. Salem Kaiser Schools provides the curriculum designed to stay current with industry standards. Residential construction classroom experience includes everything from laying a foundation and pouring concrete to advanced computer-assisted design. Freshman Ella Redinger explains the basics of a CAD program. In here we basically learned the basics of CAD and that's sort of to prepare us for Revit, which is more advanced, but we learned things like how to do different shapes and measurements, as well as like tracking and lining everything up just kind of looking at the fine details. 
The money to purchase the land for these homes comes through CTEX industry partner, Advanced Construction Education, a privately funded nonprofit. ACE gives residential construction students classroom and job site experience. Board member Dan Dorn says the proceeds from the sale of these student-built homes go through the ACE board to buy land for more student-designed and built homes and provide student support and scholarships. Our responsibility more than anything else is to acquire the land uh, for the students to have a, a building lot to go build a house on and then to provide the legal, the real estate, and the construction expertise uh, to lend to the success of the project. The dirt that we're standing on, um, another one of these houses will get built next year, and all the students that are behind us, they, uh, they all competed in a design competition. Every single one of them designed a house that would fit on this lot. They're designing a home that will actually get built if their design is selected. And uh, they can drive by that home for the rest of their lives and point out that is the house that I designed and there are people living in there today. And it's a big deal. The ACE home design is required for graduating the program. It is an intense competitive process. Students spend about half their senior year on it. Groups of two present their final plan. The winning team's design will become next year's student-built home. And the winning team for 2023's home? Taysen Wetton and Braxton McCoy. It's just so fun to see their presentations. They put together the uh, demographic and, and uh, a target market of who the buyer is going to be. And they get them uh, surprisingly accurate. They say that this will be a first-time home buyer, a small fam young family of three to four individuals, and then, then they throw in, or it'll be a move-down buyer, a retired couple trying to downsize a little bit. That is so astute for a high school student to come up with that information. I don't know if you can see the house that's finished behind us that has the fence that's getting built. That was the house we built during COVID. So people moved into it over this last weekend. So that was a student design and built home as well. About the time I finished high school was when the trades in the school started drying up. So we've probably missed two or two and a half generations of value to the value of having kids run through the trade industry. So much value is put on higher education and that was the only path for success. So we lost two or three generations of young people that know how to do these skills. These students are the future. They're the ones that are going to be taking care of us as we get older. So uh, investing in them and with them is, is very, very important. Learn more about CTEC's programs, including residential construction, at ctech.salkis.k12.or.us.